Today I will show you how to use the new features in Femora X. For more tutorials, make sure to subscribe and without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Motion tracking gives you the ability to track moving objects. In this case, we have a skateboarding video. To find it, click on the video track and enable motion tracking. When you do that, this small box will appear. You have to place it on the object that you want to follow, in this case a person. Let's change the size a little and this will be enough. Then start tracking. Wait for it to be done and now you can add anything you want to it. Press OK and find a title, elements or another video. For this one I will go with elements. Let's add this on the second layer and let's resize it. I want it to stay on top of his head. After you place it, go on the first layer again and change it from none to the element you added. And this is the final result. Keyframing helps you create your own animations. So let's try it with this clip. Click on it, go to animation and we can find some new presets. Also, when you scroll down, you will see the old ones, but we want to create our own one. So go to customize and this is where you control keyframing. So to add a keyframe, choose a point and click on add. When you do that, this blue circle will appear. So this will be our starting point. Move forwards and add another one. Things you can do is rotate the video, adjust the scale, position and the opacity. So first I will increase the scale a little and this blue line will appear. It shows the change that will happen from the first point to the second. So let's see how that looks. It zooms in and it stops there. Let's create another keyframe. So add. For this one I want to rotate the video and also lower the opacity. Move forwards and add another one. Let's get everything back to normal. You can get as crazy as you want. So let's add the final keyframe and rotate it like crazy. Let's see what we did. So it will zoom in, change the opacity and rotate, go back to normal and rotate like crazy. If you want the animation to last longer, grab the keyframe and move it. So now it will zoom in slowly. You can do this with video, elements, photos and other things. When I make tutorials, I want my voiceover to be louder than the background music. This is where audio docking helps. To find it, click on your voiceover or video, go to audio and scroll down. Here we have it. Lower the volume of other clips. When you check the box, you can see that the audio waves got lower. If you want to lower it even more, increase the level. And the other way. If you want to increase it, lower the level. The same thing goes for when you want to use audio docking on two or more clips. Select them, right click and go to adjust audio. Scroll down and enable docking for all of them. With color matching you can give your videos whatever look you want by using a reference point. It can be a frame from a clip or a photo. For example we have these two videos and I want the second one to have the colors of the first. So to find color matching click on the clip, go to color and enable color match. Click on compare view and you should see both of them. This is the current frame that we want to change the color of and on reference we choose the clip that we want to get the colors from. So you should be able to see the whole video here. But as I said I want it from the first one. So click match. And this is how it will look. You can also change the matching level so the more that you lower it you will see more of the original colors. So keep it at whatever looks the best. Now you can choose your own keyboard shortcuts. To do that go to file and down to keyboard shortcuts. You have a list of everything that you can change. To change the mode you ring go to file, down to preferences and change it from dark to light. This is how the light mode looks like, but I really prefer the dark one. Finally we have some new titles and elements, so let's see them. Go to titles and plain text. They don't have any animation so you can easily change them. To find the new elements go to elements, scroll down and fun. So these are the new ones, you can use them with keyframing and motion tracking. And this is what the new Filmora has to offer. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did leave a like and subscribe and I will see you on another one. Bye.